G'day. The truth is, uh, I am from Melbourne, Australia. However, the rabbi wasn't able to make it this morning, and they asked me to fill in as the host of this award ceremony. My name is Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I look pretty authentic for a rabbi, eh? I'd also like to thank my dear friend A.J. Robinson for inviting me here today, and it's my honor to share a thought of inspiration with you. In less than two weeks from now, the Jewish community around the world will celebrate the festival of Passover, highlighting the exodus and the liberation of the ancient Israelites from Egyptian bondage. The Bible instructs us to eat matzah, unleavened bread, to celebrate the holiday. In the Haggadah, the book that we read at the Passover Seder, describing in detail the story of the Exodus, two reasons are cited for why we eat this unleavened bread. One reason it is described as the bread of affliction or the bread of poverty that our ancestors ate in the land of Egypt. A second reason it is the bread of freedom. When our ancestors left Egypt, they left in a hurry, did not have time for the bread to rise, and therefore the matzah is a symbol of our liberation. There are seemingly two conflicting reasons. On the one hand, the matzah, the unleavened bread, reminds us of the slavery. On the other hand, it reminds us of the liberation. This duality is reflective of life itself. In life, every experience that we go through has the potential to be a blessing or, God forbid, a curse. Sometimes seemingly wonderful experiences, like, for example, winning the lottery. Statistics show, and this should happen to me, that it can be very damaging and ruin lives. On the other hand, people are faced by the challenges of sickness or economic hardship, and somehow there is a blessing in disguise. They become better people because of the experience. The same matzah symbolizes bondage, slavery, and freedom, because freedom or slavery is a state of mind. It's your attitude that will determine any experience, whether it will be liberating, whether it will be uplifting, or whether it will drag you down. They say that the optimist looks at the cup half full, the pessimist at the cup half empty. That's true, but there's more to that. It depends on your relationship with the cup. If you're drinking from the cup, you'll always see it as half empty. If you're pouring into the cup, you'll always see it as half full. This important gathering here of business and community leaders, the challenge is to always see the cup as half full, to see your role, our role in every situation. How can I contribute? How can I bring out the potential good that is given in everything in this God-created world? So my blessing is that all of us have the power, all of us have the inspiration to see the silver lining, the potential good that exists in every human experience. Enjoy your breakfast. Good morning.